gangsters, what's up guys? Yo my people, what's going on, it's Killed here and today we are hopping straight into a Warzone 2 video So this is the first of many, let's just get straight into that I fucking love this game I haven't had as much time as I wanted to play it, just because obviously I'm busy doing other shit But the time I have spent playing it, I've had a fucking great time, I'll be honest This is my best gameplay so far um, It was only a couple of games in as well, I'll be honest Playing solo that is, I did play a few games with my brother on duos and it didn't go too well but there's gonna be a whole load more coming out class setups tips tutorials i know there's a lot of xp glitches at the moment which i might do a video on just to show you guys how to rank up your guns really fast on warzone which is i mean quite ironic considering everyone used to buy the the call of duty game modern warfare obviously to, to rank up their guns and now it's the other way around you can use warzone to rank up your multiplayer guns but yeah it is what it is uh, so, I, I just, overall, I'm having such a good fucking time, I'll be honest, if you haven't tried it out yet, I recommend it, hop in the game, there's loads you can try, third person, DMZ, obviously we've got the solo, duo, trio, quads, like, you can't moan, I mean, the map is quite fucking big, the new looting system is quite weird, as you can see now, it did take me a little bit of time to get used to that, but I mean, I play Apex, so, it's not too much of a change, other than just which buttons it is, obviously, I'm just, I, th I think it runs really well. The final circle is a lot of fucking fun to play in, I'll be honest with you. When you get to that final circle and it starts splitting into three, yeah, I like it a lot. It, it gets hectic and then it gets hectic again, so. Right now, I mean, there's still 109 players left, there's three kills already. I'm gassed at this point, I can't lie, I can feel it. It's going to be a good game. Here, it took me a long time there. Obviously, you can auto-apply it or you can put it into your loot. I'm still learning that part, I'll be honest. I did see someone on there, thought I could try and peek him, but let's be honest, the guns ain't that good. Speaking of guns, one tip I'll give you now if you're watching, I recommend buying the primary weapons. I've only found that out a bit re uh, more recently. You can't buy your loadout. I don't know why the game's like that. I think if there was one improvement I can give, I would say please bring back loadouts. I know people used to abuse the fucking random meta at the time, but... I mean, everyone did, let's be honest, like, if anyone can do it, it's all fair game, in my opinion. The way they've done it now, where you have to wait for, like, five of them to drop, and only one per one team can get it, I believe it works. It's just fucking bizarre. Like, so bizarre. It's such a big change. I don't know, I I'm guessing it's because people used to abuse the metas all the time, but obviously I can't guarantee that, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think down below, or if there is a way, and I just have no idea, because I can see you can buy primary weapons that give you all your attachments, but it's not the ones you make, so... I mean... It, as soon as I see a care package, basically, I start running towards it. At this point in the game, obviously, we're on four kills. I've been chasing this guy for fucking ages, and at the time, I wasn't even paying attention. I was also being hunted, so... I'm trying to hunt that guy down. I've got 12 seconds left. I'll go for the push there. He does... He does a little bit of damage, but I panic, I'll be honest. I know at this point there's still loads of people left in the game. I know it's going to be a good gameplay if I can stay alive. So I play a bit more cautiously, trying to find another way up. Realise there isn't another way up. Another thing about this game, Prox chat is fucking jokes. I've had so many funny things happen already. But here we go. I mean, he did get... I mean, he done better that time than he did the last time on me. I want to push, but obviously I know the gas is going to cause damage to me. Just everything about this game, the colours is so much better than 2019, makes Warzone so much better. So, yeah, finally, I've got the guy that I've been chasing for fucking ages, like, I can't say how long it's been. And then, the guy who's hunted me starts talking to me, and I know he's close, obviously. I have no idea how close, and I'm panicking, trying to loot, because I'm on five kills. I know this is a good game at this point already. A good game for me, obviously. <laughs> like, the pros and that is bang average. Finally get my gun back. Luckily, if I had my sniper out there, then it's game over. Game over. But yeah, nice little double kill there. Uh, kind of a double kill. I mean, the second one was a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a while. Um, so the loadouts obviously come in here, but they're too far from me in this game. So I don't even attempt it. There was also a jailbreak there, I believe. Or a jailbreak coming right now. I was going to wait out these two things, hoping that people would come back. But from my experience, when you die and come back you spawn nowhere near where you died anymore, so I thought, fuck it, there's literally no point. Obviously, we get that down here. I know he's got to self-revive because he's playing by himself. First thing, just in case. 
and I know somebody at this point already is out. I'm trying to we're trying to cut down the video as much as possible, just like quick combat, not me hunting people down and running across the map. Obviously, there's little parts of that in here. The content's just going to keep getting better and better and better. Hopefully, once I've figured out more about the game, I'm going to watch some more videos, get some tips myself, and then just bring some fucking fire content to you guys. Uh, I will be streaming this at some point. I'm not 100% sure. I still haven't sorted out a schedule for streaming yet. Just been sorting out other videos and, and working on other things, but there's a lot to come, basically. There you go. We've got the uh, self-revive, so I equip that. Let's, let's see, at this point in the game, I'm still learning. I've just equipped everything. I'm like, oh, shit, that's how you do it. It does take a few times. If you play Warzone, you think, fuck me, this is too much of a change. Don't give up. Play again. Because, trust me, it only takes a couple of games. And you'll be right in the swing of things. So, obviously, at this point, I've got eight kills. We're going to go to the shop again. As you can see, it's split into two. All the kill streaks on one, weapons on another. It is quite weird because you can buy a UAV from one. Then, if your teammate tries to go there, they can't buy it. There's only a limit of one. Or not all of the shops have the same thing. Another noob there try pushing me. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna play it up easy, but yes, yeah, weird. The shops aren't consistent for for the thing. It's quite weird. Um, Gulag again. I'm not really a fan of like if I'm playing solos. Gulag should be solo. It's duos. I, I mean, like get it, kinda. If you shit in situations like that, you have someone that can carry you, but it's annoying if you're the one having to carry. Don't get me wrong. I've been carried in there plenty of times, and I've been thankful that someone's brought me back for free. But it's kind of jarring. Like you can be beefing someone in game, go into the Gulag and then save them, and then they're back in the game. With you. So you don't want them in the fucking game at all. Like, there's there's little weird things like that. I'm a fan that people haven't abused any movement techniques right now. We'll wait and see. Uh, from what I've seen, anyway, there hasn't been anything. I love that. Uh, the cough there. Uh, so iconic. Obviously, the storm probably would have finished him there anyway if I didn't first him, but I didn't want to risk it. I have noticed, actually, I got caught in the storm a bit earlier today, and it is fucking ridiculous what happens when you get caught in the storm. Like, the damage you take is insane so we're coming towards the end of the video at this point obviously i'm feeling confident we've got the 11 kills i can see someone in the distance there so i, I basically i land short as you can see he's in the back building we're going to see him very shortly when we hop over here and hop over again that shit me up the heli so we get a few bullets in obviously i'm confident at this point yeah no that's all i can say I hope you did like the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hold it down, my people. Peace.